So creativity is definitely a superpower. We know that the brands that are more creatively engaged are the ones that are profitable and in growth right now. Creativity is absolutely essential to us uh, at Samsung. What's important is the tangible real life benefits that those innovations deliver. I work at an agency which is all about feelings first, which tries to, which, which is, has rooted its belief in the power of emotional communications in a lot of the research that, that people like Les Bennett have done. Um, but there's, there's more and more evidence, I think, that creativity really can make a difference to proper business outcomes. What was interesting about the discussion is this acknowledgement of we just need to get better at framing that stuff, crystallizing it. When we think about the way our journalists do it. You know, they are telling interactive, powerful stories on the airwaves and in print and in digital, we're trying to do the same thing for our brands too. It is kind of the, the, the sum of all our parts and it is ideation, it is imagination, it is spirit and soul and it's however we're able to kind of mix that or blend that recipe. We just had an amazing discussion, it was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, it was very interesting of people around the table. Uh, one of the things that was very memorable for me was when we were talking about the cost of not being creative, or the dull tax, right? So, if you look at uh, if you look at some of the research that's been going on, it actually can cost brands about nine million a year if they want to do dull marketing or dull advertising. We've just had a really great discussion looking at creativity on both sides of the Atlantic and globally with people who are really investing in proving its effectiveness. You need to have the right framework around what makes creative effective. For me, that's attention, emotions, and memory. Does it drive those three things? Those three things result in the outcome that the brand wants. Creative effectiveness is really our currency within our industry. We need to make work that is standout, creative, surprising, magical, amazing, but we also need to prove that it works. I think the conversation has been fantastic because we're looking at both how do we use some of the technology like AI that's coming to market to make that more effective, but also how do we preserve what is, you know, essentially human creativity, humor, emotion, um, and the time and, and the space needed to deliver that kind of impact into the work we do to actually make measurable impact on brands. So let's be clear, brands actually can't afford to not be creative. We can't bang the drum loud enough because we have CFOs talking all the time about return on investment. These things are intangible and they can be hard to prove, but we're getting better at proving them. We have more effectiveness tools than ever. And we have provocateurs like Mark Ritson encouraging us to do so.